Look what came in the mail today. I got some, uh... Let me get these things out of the package. Hold on a second. All right, bingo. So, this is the middle piece. And then this is the top one that attaches. Uh, let's put it on the bike. So I'm kind of curious how much stuff I can fit in these Ross wheel bags. This is the 37 liter bags. And I got them the other day and I've really never put them to the test yet. I'm just going to fill them up and then see how much stuff I can get there and then I'll and then I'll take everything out and lay it on the ground and show you how much it will fit. All right, so I got everything packed up in here. And these things actually hold quite a bit of stuff. I'm going to pull everything out and lay it on the ground. I'll show you how much I fit in there. Alright, so this is what I got into the bags before they were full. The backpack and this stuff and the clothes went in one side. And then I got a tarp. That's a 10 by 12 camouflage tarp. This thing went in one of them one of the sides and the sleeping bag fills up the top bag the sleeping bag fits like perfectly in this top bag and that's the only thing I put in there but the sleeping bag the blanket and the pants and then the backpack and the other stuff and then the bike lock fixin fits in one of the side pockets too so that's how much stuff I got in there Yeah, so this Roswell thing is actually pretty, pretty nice. I, I like it. I mean, it doesn't, it's not waterproof. This is like canvas. And it didn't come with a rain cover. These two are rain covers for the front panniers. The, uh, the Ibera, the Ibera came with these it's like a elastic rain cover that goes on the front panniers so but uh, but yeah as long as you're as long as it doesn't rain a whole lot wherever you're at there's quite a bit of space in there I've seen bigger ones they've got like 70 liters these are I think 37 something like that I don't know I think the I think the sides are like 15 each and then whatever the top is or I don't know they're somebody said they're 37 liters but uh, but whatever they you know you've seen how much they hold and they seem to hold quite a bit but um, these Iberas this I think is a little bit more of a durable material than that is it's a little bit thinner, but whatever. The as long as as long as it's got that hard backing to keep the fabric out of the tire, like some of the really super cheap ones, they don't have a a hard backing, and it doesn't keep the fat and the the fabric will get sucked up into the tire. So, um, but these ones they don't they don't seem to do that even when they're empty. They don't seem to do that because they were empty the other day and I rode all over the place and they never got sucked into the tire. So I think they're actually, for the money, for, you know, the 40 bucks or whatever it was, that's, they're really, they're really a pretty decent option if you're, as long as it doesn't rain a whole lot where you're at, as long as you're not riding in the rain all the time. So, but I've, I've realized that I've, I can fit almost everything Except this, like the tent, the tent I could put on the handlebars. And the only thing that I really need the trailer for is this stuff right here. And I could do, I could wait until I run out of food to, to, to move, you know. The only thing I would really have to do without is the stove. These are just empty bottles. That thing can fit in the front basket. This can fit in the front basket. 
the only thing that that really is almost too much would be the mess kit. I don't know. I could I could probably fit it all in there, but I might. It would be nice to if you were just running just the bike without the trailer. I might have to get rid of a few things, but we'll see. So, anyways, this is kind of my setup for now.